What in the world is this? Remember when you asked me what animal I feel like? Let it go, baby. Flamingo. Yeah. And, and then I was like, I don't know, a flamingo? And maybe it's a flamingo. I think I look like a flamingo. You said, dude. Like you just flamingo. randomly got this for the house? No, I got it for our set, for our podcast room. Taika likes it. Yeah. Hey, don't, don't, you're gonna break it. I liked it, it until I saw how, like, they made or something, and they start break, they start breaking each other's skulls, and, like, they, I, it was, Wait, what? Know. That's I, how flamingos fight? No, mate. They break each other's skulls to mate? Hey, get off, dude. You're not surfing. Um, I think it's for mating. I what? Think they drink the, the, blood the blood of each other? I think so. That's insane. Don't you dare do that. We're not those type of flamingos. No, right we're not. <laughs> yeah, here it is. Come with me. No, no, no. You're going to dirty the floor, dude. Yeah, I mean, careful. not dirty the floor. You're going to dirty this with you're the dirty You're going to break floor. this thing's cuny. It's furry. <laughs> hey, monkey, are you cold? You want to go upstairs and get your clothes, Dan? What was that? Yes, no? You want just pants? Or are you going to stay warm with your bushies? <laughs> See what I have to deal with. So what do you want? Are you cold, yes or no? Are we going upstairs to get you clothes? No? So we have the AC on full blast. And it's actually like good for the house and just good for um, bugs too. So it feels really good, but it is easy to get cold if you're not moving. And this guy just came back home from jujitsu, so he took off his G. Miss me. Ha 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 ha. No, no, you did it. No, you did it. No, you did it. Throw your clothes? Oh man, I think I came up on a new favorite flavor. You were right. This one is really good. It's like his favorite too. This one? Yeah. It's chicken corn. Chicken corn. It's chicken corn. It only has seven grams of fat and 40 something grams of protein. Isn't that a lot of protein? Yeah, that's a ton of protein. It's really good. And Mom Bear figured out this new way with this hint of lime chips. Yeah, but it tastes so good. Hold on. Oh, here you go. Thank you, Papa. But it tastes so good. What are you going to eat, mister? Chip. No. <laughs> that's not dinner. What's the dinner you wanted me to make for you? Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders? No, we're not making no chicken tenders. What did you ask mama? You wanted tacos. Good job. Anchovies tacos. Anchovies tacos. <laughs> what the heck is anchovies tacos? Anchovies tacos. Some anchovies tacos. You never had anchovy tacos? No. Anchovies tacos. You had to live, dude. Anchovies <laughs> tacos. He's crazy. He's running on fumes or something. I think you're the loopy. I don't know if you took a nap or anything. This guy's going nuts. Did you take a nap today in class in school? No. You didn't take a nap today? You didn't take a nap with everyone else? Okay, don't eat those yet, they're hot. Can you get a ketchup, please? Yeah, of course. I am so proud of this little dude. If you grew up in an Asian household, you know how important it is. Empty. Yeah, it is to be frugal, right? Like, we're the culture where we saran wrap our remote controls because so we don't want we, it because we don't want it to be broken. Hey. So are we, dude. And then we also put foil and saran wrap all over our range not here because i'm americanized my mom does and we're the type to take a paper towel rip it up into like eight different pieces and use each piece so no, that it goes no this so it goes this, this you guys. no 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 so it goes way longer and so when it comes to eating watermelon i was like dude you better eat your watermelon clean and look how good he's having them this one, down clean, down I was like, clean, you gotta keep eating clean, until clean, you can see the green. Down clean, down clean, down clean, down clean. Those are very clean. Good job. Yeah, yeah you can have another one. Marvelous. Yeah, he loves it. Hey, all the juice is leaving your mouth. <laughs> Where's your napkin? Oh, your papa took it. Awesome. No, because it was drenched already. Here, dude. Here, dude. Here, dude. Wipe your mouth. So I'm very proud of this guy. Hey, don't put it in your mouth. <laughs> yeah. You crazy guy. 
But yeah, he'd make any Asian parent proud. He's crushing that watermelon down to the peel. Maybe that isn't an Asian thing. Yes, it is it's an Asian thing. How come the way you eat chicken wings? I'm trash. There's straight up an entire steak left I'm on the trash. bone. An entire chicken steak I'm is left on the bone. Asian style is down so to like a toothpick. Mexican? I've never seen your mom suck on a chicken wing until it's all until it looks like this. Did you ask my dad? Your dad, what? Did you ask him? Because <laughs> That's clean. <laughs> what are you talking that's about? Clean. That's not clean at all. That one has all kinds of red on there. <laughs> you try to show me right away. You big ham. He hams it up every time you turn on the camera. I'll call you an watermelon. You big ham. That's orange. Dude, you keep dripping like crazy. <laughs> I'm actually really impressed with this guy because these days he's been practicing a lot more independence and autonomy. And to me, that's awesome. Not <laughs> swinging a bat around. Hey, what are you supposed to do right now? Class. No, you're supposed to clean up all your toys. Taika, this is what we're going to do, okay? Taika, are you listening? Taika. He is a ham. Hey, dude, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, monkey, come here. Papa's hey, to monkey. You. Monkey. All right, this is what we're going to do, okay? You're going to clean up all your toys. And when you're ready to double check, when you're ready to let Papa double check, I'll come and take a look. And for every toy that's left out, how many push ups is it? One. Okay. So I'm not going to check until you tell me everything's okay, okay? Exactly. Okay? So you have to have accountability, okay, mister? Accountability? Are you serious? <laughs> this guy always catches me off guard. Yes, I'm serious about accountability. Okay, mister? Okay, the clock is I know you're only three, but I'm very proud of you. And you're far beyond your age, and you're wise. And you're accountable. Okay, so you're going to clean up all your toys. And when you're ready, say, Papa, I'm ready to check. Double check. I'm ready for you to double check. Exactly. Okay, monkey? Okay, double check. All right. And what's amazing is last time, uh, when he told me to come and double check, he didn't have a single toy out. So what I'm trying to teach him is to be able to double check and to check his work and not be careless and not rush through things. Because that's something that was uh, a huge problem of mine. Like, my mom would have me like vacuum or wash dishes and I'm always missing one random fork or a corner doesn't get vacuumed. And so at a younger age, um, I'm having him be self-reliant, hold himself accountable, where I don't just come in and check. Cause that's a big, that was a big difference between uh, the way I'm doing it and my mom doing it. When my mom would do it, she would just come in randomly. She goes, all right, in two minutes I'm gonna come. But with Taika, I'm like, I want you to let me know when you're ready to be checked on so that he can have a lot of uh, self-managing, self-governance. What are you doing? Are you ready? No. Uh-oh, I'm going to go look. No, 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 okay, I won't. You tell me, okay? okay. Mama, I see something. What? That basketball. A basketball? It. Okay. I can't put it in. Look. Oh, you can't fit it in there? No, put, it, put it next to the other basketball then. I, put it right behind, yeah. Next to the, the, next to the other basketball. The pool basketball? Yeah. But that one's have no lights. Come here, I can push it because I have no lights. Are you ready for me to double check now? No, I see a I, I can get it. You see something else in there? Yeah, wow, there. that's good. That's called attention to detail. I know, I see something in this room. Something what do you orange. see? Ooh, good job. You found two extra toys. But that was too small again. Then, see, then just put it all over there, okay? There, to the yeah, we put it all next to each other. So at least we know we did that on purpose. Okay, show me what you did. Let's see. It keeps not falling. Okay. Just put it there for now, yeah? Let's see. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Good job. Well, that's your bushies. Good job, monkey. High five. A hundred percent. A plus.
<laughs> what a little troll. How many push-ups do you have to do? Nothing. Good job, monkey. I'm proud of you. But this is not a troll. This is sleeping. Yeah, it's sleeping. Okay, let's go upstairs. We're going to take a bath and get ready no, for bed. Shower. Shower. Okay, we're going to take a shower and get okay, ready for bye -bye. bed. I'm telling you, man. I'm very, very impressed with this little dude. And, you know, when they say, like, don't underestimate kids... I didn't know the extent of what they were saying. So I would always try to push the limits, push the boundaries, still little by little, not like by leaps and bounds, just to see how he responds. And he always rises to the occasion. Like just the other day, I posted this on Instagram and I was very impressed too, because he wanted to learn how to do front flips and I was like into the pool. And I'm like, before you learn how to do that, you need to know how to do a somersault. So of course he's still scared and all that. And um, he didn't want to do it. And then I showed him like step by step, kind of like in jiu-jitsu, how they taught a break fall. Like you hug yourself, tuck your chin, squat down and roll back. I noticed when you break things down into like three or four parts, it's easier for kids to understand. So I taught Taika the same thing. I'm like, okay, for somersault, you're going to put your hand on your head to protect your head. Because he was worried about like rolling over and hitting his head on the deck of the pool. I'm like, that way, if you do hit the wall, it's just your arms going to protect your face. Squat down and just roll over. And I think for a baby to have his head like go head first, like a dive almost, is kind of scary, you know? So I was super proud of this. Check this out. Oh, and he counted too, by the way. Look at this. That was at our community pool. And all of this is happening before he turns four. He's gonna turn four soon, but still technically he's doing all this when he's three. I am so proud of him. Look at this, he cleaned the living room by himself. And he put everything next to where it needs to be. So cute. This is pretty funny. So I don't know if people would think we're crazy lunatics and they wouldn't wanna rob this house if they saw this guard flamingo there where you just show up to the front door and you just see this guy straight staring at you like do you go okay these guys are psychotic or do you guys go yeah these guys are a bunch of bitches we can rob them i don't know but <laughs> i think it's pretty cool to have a flamingo just straight up hanging out over there i kind of want one now so if this guy doesn't fit in our podcast room I want every one of our guests to be greeted by a cutie flamingo. Look at this little butt butt. Too cute. Alright, so here's some progress on the podcast room. We actually got up right after we dropped Taika off at school. We just started hustling on a bunch of like a computer work and on this room as much as possible so we completely forgot to update this room so we did put all the wallpaper up so we put the glue paste and then we taped it on there and we even have clamps at the top and if you look really closely we have thumbtacks because uh, we ran out of clamps and we still needed to keep it on there because this is that textured wallpaper so it's pretty thick and it will move but we have it on and we want it to dry for a good 24 hours before we paint. So I think tomorrow to multitask, I'm gonna take Taika to Jiu Jitsu and Gio will paint while that happens. Meanwhile, we also taped up where our fireplace is gonna go. So this is what I think is really gonna transform this room, like from a residential room that you guys saw a long time ago into a set set. Like that's going to be a sick piece and once we put that there i'll cover up some of the imperfections which is why we weren't that stringent when it came to putting everything together because it's not for real life it's for camera so once we put that there put the shelves in place put all the accent lighting put this in place i ordered more lights because i have lights down there but not i do have it in there but not in some of the other ones so i gotta finish putting up the accent lighting and we actually created a schedule of everything we need to do so i still gotta sound treat this place so i bought some sound panels and we have to paint the walls like i said put the mantle 
get our logo design. So we do have an actual title now. Got to get the logo design, get a sign put in place, get the chairs put in place, and this will all happen over the next week or so. So you're really going to see our podcast room come together. And it's cool that we get to share with you guys first before we officially launch with a new name, new logo, and I think even new channel. So stay tuned for that. All right, Taika, ready to take a shower? He's not down there with you? No, I saw him come upstairs. Nope, not here. He's not here, eh? Nope. Then does that mean... Uh, no, you can just not... Don't even come up. You just go take a shower. Does that mean there's uh, no one I can share this delicious ice cream with? Nope. Nobody here that wants ice cream. Nope. No one wants ice cream or nobody. a yummy watermelon? Nope. Are you sure about that? Yep. Nobody wants it. Oh, alright. You're eating it. What flavor is it? Watermelon flavored it? ice cream. Yeah. Here. Can I have some? Yeah. Is that candy? Mm-hmm. Can I have some candy? Yeah. Mmm. Mmm, this candy's good. It's really good, huh? I think we're also forgetting that your is very transparent. Really? So I wouldn't be surprised. Well, this guy's actually getting really good. Because back in the day, I would see the entire blanket shaking because he's laughing. And this guy's getting really good at hiding because he's not moving at all. Well, he's not He's here. not shaking. And it's also well, hot underneath him? there. Are you sure? Gonna, no, there's nobody here, dude. Doing. Nobody here. Doing. Nope. Hey, there you are. <laughs> you cutie guy. You're really good. You're really good at hiding, monkey. Okay, you ready? We're going to take a shower. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, God. Well, yeah, thank God you're on the I don't want to take a shower. All right, this has been our nightly routine for how long, Ma Bear? Months. For months now, and it's actually super cuny because I get to share all these movies that I loved growing up with this monkey Cheeto. So, what movie are we gonna watch this time? Jackie Chan again. Which one? Drunken Master or Rush Hour? Drunken Master. Ooh, good choice. So so far, he watched Ninja Turtles. He watched Bloodsport, all the violent movies, Enter the Dragon, Fist of Fury. And now he really likes Drunken Master because it's like and com Bruce Lee and Ninja Turtles. And, and Bruce Lee and Ninja Turtles and uh he likes the comedy elements of Drunken Master. Drunken Here we go, that's it. This is where we left off. Ooh, it's a nighttime scene. Do you have a leche? Where's your milk milk? Good job, monkey. And uh one of my favorite parts of watching especially Jackie Chan movies with them is uh, you know at the end when they roll credits and they show all the behind the scenes and stuff like that I love that as a kid because I would watch my friends watch other movies and they would freak out like it was real and I think because of the behind the scenes stuff as a little kid I knew that it wasn't real and it was just a bunch of people playing pretend because you would have Jackie Chan getting into a fight and if uh, the fight scene went the wrong way and he got er hurt, like the enemy on in the story would come and pick him up. Like, oh, shoot, are you okay? And you constantly see people taking care of each other. So I called that like the Friends clip. And so we watched till the end. I'm like, Taika, you want to watch the Friends? And he goes, yeah, I want to watch the Friends. And one time we watched the behind the scenes, the Friends part, like for 10 times in a row because he loved it so much. He loved that at the end, like people putting each uh, like Jackie Chan would catch on fire and all his friends would come and put him out or someone get hurt and Jackie Chan will go pick them up. So he really likes that. And I think that is also just great education for kids too, you know, just so that they know from the start that it's production and it's real life. And so that's why I also love watching Jackie Chan movies with them. Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Open. Dun. Open. Da, 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 da. Ah, open. Mm -hmm. Open, dude. You gotta. Hey, let go. Mm -hmm. Open. Open. Is he biting the toothbrush again? Yeah. Don't bite it. Dude. Let go. <laughs> Smile like this. Show me your teeth. 
What's funny about Bart is he makes the same face as Tiger does. Oh, he missed it. And he brushes his teeth. Well, it's because I know kids do that marrying thing. Whatever you do, they do it. Oh, okay. That's how you know when like, teachers talk to kids. They go, they always go like this. He goes, everyone listening. And then the kids are like, oh, use my ears. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, dude, it's so heavy now. Oh my goodness. A, B, C, E, F. Everything has to be in its perfect order before Taika feels comfortable a, enough. Okay, there we go. C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J. L M N O P Q Q R S S T U V W W X Y and Z. Now I know that A B boom shagalaka. Next time won't you sing with gel? Gel. That's what happens when you have two trolls going head to head. It gets weird. <laughs> hey, 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 stop it! Hey, lay down, lay down, lay down, monkey, come on. Lay down, monkey, to Papa. Good night, monkey, see you tomorrow. No, I want to go to swimming. I love you. Now get the Papa. Give him a big kiss. Okay. I'm not my mom. I want to kiss him. Okay. No, the. Okay, kiss, 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 kiss. Don't, don't tell everyone the camera. Okay, bye. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then stop it. Okay, good night. No good night and yes, good night. Okay, no good night. Alright, guys. Now it's time for myself to put myself to bed. And we will see you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey, where'd mama go? Mama. Where are you? Oh my god, just go to sleep. <laughs> Fine.